Hey everybody, this is Blue Boxhead from Puny. And I'm Orange Boxhead. Yeah! Yeah! Today, we're gonna show you how you can also be a Boxhead. Yeah! Woohoo! Woohoo! Boxhead! Boxhead! So the first thing you need to do is download the FLAR Toolkit. That's F-L-A-R Toolkit. And you print off a pattern that looks like this. Pretty nice. Pretty boring. But when you put it in front of the web camera, uh, it registers that pattern as a 3D plane. And you can put an object on it. Pretty cool, huh? So, where to get this flower toolkit? At the sakusha.net, you can grab a starter kit with some samples. Everything you need to get started. The demo comes with the flower tool um, pattern that you can use in PDF form, so you can just print this off and play with this. But so all this flower tool is looking for is this square. So it detects this square first, and then after it detects a square, it looks for a pattern inside a square, which is this area. So inside the border, we'll make up whatever pattern we think uh, might fit to the content. So we've created this uh, original pattern, keeping the border and placing whatever image you like on top of the white square. And we print those out, make something like this. So to create a PAT file, we can just use flash.tarotaro.org.blog. They have uh, this nice generator that you can use your webcam. Get the pattern. Such as this. You can check all the PAT files you've saved. I'm going to use... Uh, PAT file named Y, which is this one we just created. Inside the simple cube function, just name this to the pattern file you made. Save it. Let's see. Here's our Y. Ta da! Hooray! It works! So to make a box head, I've created a new material and put that into a material list and create a new cube. For the front, we're using a new material that I've uh, placed a movie clip of a face onto. This is a simple movie clip. Inside, we have a timeline up to 100 of a mouse opening so the front movie clip is attached into this cube which is going to be the face and in here I've added the function to listen to a microphone the number you get from the microphone will be converted into the frame number, it plays the face movie clip to that number which will make the mouth to move according to the loudness of the sound you get from the microphone. So let's see. Export, it's asking for microphone, allow it, close it, allow uh, webcam access, here's the pattern. And here's the face. Oh! Woo! Hey! Yeah, it's that simple. Now you attach this pattern into something like this. Put a strap. Put this over your head. Yeah! <laughs> 
So now that you know the basics of box head technology, go off and do your own creative box head stuff. <laughs> <laughs>